Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to week one, day two of our four week challenge. Today we're gonna focus on flexibility, specifically in the lower body. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in child's pose. You can come over onto your knees and we'll bring them out nice and wide, probably be mat with apart. And you can start by bringing your big toes together, reaching your arms out in front. I'm just gonna push into your palms, your fingertips a little bit to send your hips back towards your heels, getting into the hips a little bit more. And you can start to melt it down, resting your forehead, softening your shoulders. Let's take a nice big breath in and out. Closing your eyes, take another big inhale and exhale. One more nice deep breath in and out. Awesome, you guys. We're just going to lift our forehead up slightly. And I want you to start to push into your palms again, or maybe the fingertips if that's comfier. Our big toes are together right now. We're sending our hips back towards our heels. And you might stay just like this, pushing into your fingertips, sending the hips back. Or you can bring some space between the feet and then send the hips back again. See if your hips uh, change what they're feeling a little bit. If they like it, you can keep the feet out wide. If you prefer your big toes together, you can bring them back together. But you might even bring your feet a little bit wider. The wider you go, the more you send your hips back towards your heels, the more you should feel the love through the hips. But be mindful of the knees. Always bring the feet back together. If there's any discomfort through your knees, send the hips back towards your heels. Awesome, you guys. Let's stay for just another breath here. And then use an inhale and slowly lift your hips. Ha! Bring your hands under your shoulders. Bring your knees in underneath your hips and rock it out. Send the hips side to side. Oh, shake it out a little bit. Awesome, you guys. We're going to be extending our right leg back behind us. Tuck the toes. Push the ball of the foot into the mat. <clears throat> Sending the heel back behind you to stretch the ankle, stretch the calf. You can add a little rock forwards and backwards here if it feels good, or you can just hold it steady. And then you might stay here with your leg up behind you, or you could walk your feet behind and to the left side, probably off of your mat. Still tucking the toes, pushing the ball of the foot into the floor, and send your hips to the right. See if you can encourage the hips back to the right, feel this through the outer leg, outer hip, maybe even to the oblique if you're lucky. Awesome, you guys. Putting just a little bit of effort into this, pushing into the ball of the foot, pushing into your palms, sending the hips to the right. And then let's slowly start to walk our foot back behind us. You can slide your knee into your tabletop, a little rock, shake it out a little bit. And we're going to be sliding our right leg forwards, setting up for pigeon. So lay down your shin. Keep your left leg out behind you. You can bring your heel as close to the left hip as you'd like. I want you to try to find your center. So sometimes we like to lean over to one side more than the other. And I just want you to find your center. So a little rock side to side might help you do that. But push into your fingertips. Lift up through the chest. We want to feel this through the right leg, that outer hip, that glute. You can stay lifted through the upper body or you can lean forward and relax, try to soften your shoulders, let your upper body be heavy. Feel the love through that right leg and try to soften your right leg at the same time. Resist the urge to hold your upper body up by pushing into the arms or trying to squeeze that right glute or flex the leg or just soften everything. This is a nice deep hip opener, so we're not going to stay too long today. Just another breath or two. Awesome, you guys. And then take an inhale and slowly start to lift your chest. Push into your fingertips. We're going to tuck our back toes. We are going to make our way back into our tabletop as gracefully as we can. 
Rock your hips a little bit side to side. Shake it out. Notice how that right leg is feeling so far. And then we'll send our left leg back behind us. Tuck the toes, push the ball of the foot into the floor. Again, just kind of pushing into the palms a little bit, sending the heel back. Put a little effort into it if you need to, to find that calf and ankle stretch. Or maybe that rock forwards and back feels good. Nice job, you guys. You can stay here or you can walk your foot behind you to the right. Keep the toes tucked. Push into the ball of the foot and then just send your hips to the left. Find your breath. Push into your palms a little bit to keep sending the hips over to that left side. Awesome job, you guys. Slowly, slowly, let's walk our foot back behind us and then slide the knee in. Take a couple rocks of the hips, shake it out. And then we can make our way into pigeon with our left leg going forwards. Lay down the shin, bring the heels close to the right, right hip as you would like. Push into your fingertips, shimmy around a little bit, find that sweet spot, find your center. Feeling this through that outer hip, that glute, maybe all the way down the leg and inhale as you lift up through the chest. Exhale, add a forward fold if you like, if you would like. Listen, you guys, and what may feel like a long time really isn't a long time. <laughs> so let's just find our breath. Resisting that urge again to push into the forearms to hold ourselves up. Focus on the breath. And just notice the feeling. The sensations running through that left leg. Some work, you guys. One more full breath here. Then using an inhale to lift. You can tuck your back toes. You can push yourself back into your tabletop, onto your hands and knees. Shake it out a little bit more. And then you can start to cross your ankles. Have a seat and bring your legs out in front. So let's keep our right leg out long. Bring our left foot to our inner thigh. With an inhale, lengthen through the spine. You can point your toes up towards the ceiling. With the exhale, fold forwards. Find that hamstring, find that calf again. You can fold forward a little bit. You can keep your spine nice and long, sitting tall. But wherever you are, just breathe. Awesome job, you guys. Stay for another breath here. And then using an inhale, lift your upper body back up. So you can send your left leg out. Maybe give your legs a little bit of a shake. We're just gonna move into our quad and I want you to roll into your right side and start to grab your foot, bringing your heel towards your glute. So you can stay on the right side or you can bring your shin back down to the floor and almost come back to seated. Your heel will be beside your left hip. So if this is comfortable for the knee, it's comfortable for the hip, the top of the foot, you can do this or you can just stay on your right side if it's not available to you. If it is, you can always come back onto your forearms. The more you lean back, the more you might feel that quad, but you might also be just getting the hip. You might also be getting the ankle. You're gonna feel this wherever you're tighter first. Awesome, you guys, and just one last option here to maybe bend the right leg, plant the foot, just help square the hips a little bit more. 
and might get into the quad a little bit more. Just an option though. And if you have your right leg bent, let's straighten that first. And if you're laying back, you can sit up a little bit more, roll to that right side so you can bring your left leg out long, come back to seated, give your legs a nice little shake. And then let's bring the right foot to the inner thigh of the left leg, point the toes up towards the ceiling as you inhale, lengthen the spine. And with the exhale, fold forward. Nicely done, you guys. Take one more breath here. And then using an inhale as you slowly lift back up. You can send your right leg out, maybe give the legs a bit of a shake, eventually making your way onto your left side. Hug the heel towards the glute, staying here or trying to bring the shin down, the heel beside the hip. And you can stay here, you can bend that left leg in, lean back a little bit, or come all the way onto the forearms. You could lay all the way down onto your back. Whatever feels best for you and that right leg, the hip, the quad, all the way to the toes, wherever you're lucky enough to feel the love. Nice job, you guys. Let's slowly start to come back. Send our legs out all the way, giving them a nice little shake. And then we're going to start to move our legs again into 90-90. So let's bring the right leg forwards. You can lean to that right side a little bit to send your left leg behind you. So 90-90 degree angles with our legs sort of as best we can. And then we're just going to lean back. So bring your hands behind you and think about this left hip flexor. You can send the left hip forwards a little bit. You can kind of lift the glute, send the hip forwards, or you could lean back a little bit more if you've got the space and you might come all the way down onto your forearms or halfway down. The more you come down, the more you're gonna feel that back leg. Maybe that quad again, maybe that hip flexor. And it might be a little awkward that's good too. Nice job, you guys. If you did come down, slowly lift yourself back up. Ooh, that felt pretty good. Let's bring our back leg forwards and bring the soles of our feet together and our knees out wide. Butterfly, take an inhale, lengthen the exhale, hold forwards if you'd like. Getting into those hips. Nice job, you guys. Taking an inhale as you lift your upper body back up. You can bring your hands to your knees, bring them back together. Take a little shake. Give yourself a little hug. And then we're gonna make that 90-90 shape with our legs, with the left leg forwards this time. So bring the right leg behind you again, kinda as best you can, set up your 90 degree angles with your legs. They don't have to be perfect. You can bring your hands behind you, leaning back slightly, sending that right hip flexor forwards. And maybe this is as far as you go. This is a great place to be. If it's available, if you want it, you can try to come down onto one forearm and then maybe the other, but just notice what your legs are thinking. 
what your knees are thinking, as well as your jaw, your shoulders soften, your body only go as far as you need to to feel some love without going too far. Nicely done, you guys. Slowly starting to bring yourself back up and that back leg forwards. And this time we're going to find a wide straddle. So bring your legs out nice and wide. Take your time. Move nice and slow. If you already are in your wide straddle, maybe just add a little rock. Side to side with your upper body. You can point your toes up towards the ceiling. Maybe your hands are on the floor behind you for support. And you might stay here sitting tall, just pointing your toes up towards the ceiling. You might feel the love through the inner legs already. If you want more though, if it's available, you can tip forwards a little or a little more. That nice inner leg stretch. Let's take one more breath here. We can use an inhale as we lift our upper body back up. Bring your hands to your knees again. Help your legs come back together. Give yourself a hug, a little rock side to side. And then we're just going to find a nice cross-legged seated position. But I want you to actually bring one of your foot kind of on top of of your leg. We're going to stretch our toes a little bit here. So just kind of moving your foot into a place where you can grab onto it. We're going to slide our fingers through our toes, getting a little weird, and see if we can get all of our fingers between all of our toes and just create some space between them. Like we're trying to spread our toes out wide. And you might be able to get your fingers right to the crevices of the toes. You might not, but just slide your fingers in <laughs> and then have a seat, a comfy seat as you lengthen through your spine. You're just gonna hug your foot with your hand. Nice job, you guys. If you're lucky, you're gonna feel a stretch here. If you're lucky, you're not going to feel anything at all. <laughs> and then let's just let that go. Slide your fingers out between those toes. Give them a little, a little massage if you'd like. And then you can just kind of switch, bringing your other foot on top. Sliding your fingers between each toe. I'm going to find out if one foot is a little bit more flexible in the toes than the other. This side seems to be a little bit tighter for me personally. I find that my right leg is my stronger leg and my tighter leg all at the same time. <laughs> so it makes sense that my right toes are a little tighter as well. Ah, so once you've got it, find that long spine. <sighs> Close your eyes, take a breath. Hmm. Awesome job, you guys. And then we're slowly just gonna let it go. Let your fingers come out between your toes. Give them a little, a little massage, a little squeeze. You can make your way into a comfy seat. If you always sit cross-legged the same way, cross your legs the other way. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart. That is it, that is all for today. Short and sweet practice. Ah, focusing on that lower body. So enjoy the rest of your day. Thanking you so much for being here and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.